kailangan natin ng maraming maraming good news. That's all I can say. At BIR extended the deadline from April 15 to May 15. So, palakpangan. Yeah. It's me again, it's Mary, your GTEC Guru, and today is supposed to be the first day of our Google Classroom training. However, naisip ko ang dami nagtatanong, ano ba yung G Suite? And I realized that a lot of people are actually not aware of what G Suite is. There are still a lot of schools here in the Philippines that are not on um, an online platform or are still using their personal email when communicating with parents. So. I decided instead of uh, launching into a Google Classroom training right away or a Google Classroom tutorial right away, I would uh, go ahead and at least give you an overview of what G Suite is. Ano ba tong G Suite ito? What is G Suite? G Suite is a set of productivity tools that have been made available by Google. Ano ba ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin, this is a set of tools na pwede nating magamit para magawa yung trabaho natin. Iba-ibang klaseng tools including email. So, magkakaroon kayo ng email. Meron kayo doong file storage para sa mga files nyo. And there is also a classroom para i-manage yung mga classes. You're actually given a set of tools. Marami yun. Kaya nga, sweet. Kung sabi ng sweet, isang collection. <coughs> Hindi naman po ako masyadong grammar Nazi, ano? Pero po, pag narinig ko na pinopronounce yung uh, G Suite na G Suit, medyo a little, I feel a little bad for Google. So, Ang pronunciation po niya, G Suite. Para pong sweetheart. So, once again, all together now, it's G Suite. Okay po? <laughs> ano kaya yun? Narinig niyo ba yun? So, what are these tools that I'm talking about? So, there are uh, some core applications of G Suite that a lot of uh, schools really need to be able to maximize. First up is Google Classroom. Well, Google Classroom is a classroom management application wherein, as a teacher, you can assign, of course, assignments, you can give questions to your students, you can give announcements as well, and there's a stream for you to be able to get feedback as well from your students. You can share the classroom with other teachers, and also, you can um, even add parents and guardians emails so that they can be informed of what the student has accomplished, and what the student still needs to do. So this is a really great application because it puts together all of your resources, the things that the student has to do, and also the things that you have to do as a teacher in order to be able to guide your students through um, the year or the semester. The next one is Google Forms. Well, Google Forms is a nice application for you to be able to gather feedback. So napakadali itong gamitin. Usually, kapag gumagawa kayo ng form, nakapag-fill up na ba kayo ng form online? Isulat ang pangalan, isulat ang address, di ba? Isulat ang department. Usually, sa mga ganun, iniisip mo, kailangan ko bang matutong mag-program para gumawa ng ganun? Hindi kailangan. Kasi, sa Google Forms, napakadali. All you have to do is to put in your questions and the desired type of answers. Ano bang klase mga sagot yung kailangan nyo? For example, pwede akong gumawa ng isang registration form, pwede akong gumawa ng feedback form or evaluation form, pwede rin akong gumawa ng quiz para sa mga estudyante. Um, i-discuss natin to in the next uh, in the coming days because I will really be uh, delving into each of these applications. Pero for now, overview lang muna. Next one is your Google Admin. So, meron tayong administration. Ibig sabihin, Hindi ibig sabihin na naka-G Suite tayo, individual tayo lahat, kahit ano, pwede natin gawin. The nice thing about G Suite for Education is that if we have policies in the school, and alam naman natin sa mga eskwelahan, marami tayong policies, pwede natin ilagay itong mga policies na to sa loob ng ating G Suite for Education. We can assign an administrator, and this administrator, and we can even assign multiple administrators, and these administrators will help us to be able to put in these policies sa, mga, sa eskwelahan. Okay, so next one is communication. I love communication because uh, communication is key para maging seamless yung, yung mga operations natin. Number one, syempre, Gmail. I'm pretty sure na lahat kayo may email. And Gmail is really the most popular email platform out there. The nice thing about this Gmail though, kapag gumamit kayo ng Gmail with G Suite for Education, 
Ang email nyo, hindi at gmail. Ang email nyo would be at your school email. The next one is Google Hangouts. So, Google Hangouts is your instant messaging that's already built in. Uh, ito yung chat nyo, naka-built in na to sa loob ng Gmail at sa loob ng G Suite. So, you'll be able to chat instantly with your workmates or even your students. And pwede pa rin kayong mag-video conference. Ang kagandahan nito, you can actually hold your video conferences, your meetings, yan. Yung mga, yan ang mga sobrang daling uh, gamitin, ano? Na just in case meron tayong ganitong situation where there's COVID, di ba? And we are asked to self-quarantine and stay at home and work from home. Paano tayo makakapag-community? Makakapag-community? Anong sinabi ko? <laughs> Kakasabi ko ng community quarantine yan. Paano tayo makakapag-communicate with our employees? Paano tayo makakapag-communicate with our co-workers and our students if uh, wala tayong mga ganitong online tools? So, ang kagandahan nito naka-integrate siya with everything including calendar. So, isa to sa mga really great ways for you to maximize the tools, especially in this situation na naka-quarantine tayo lahat. Next one is collaboration. So, there are a lot of collaboration tools with Google. It was born on the web. So, itong G Suite na to, meron siyang Google Drive para ma-store nyo lahat ng files nyo. At ang maganda dito, unlimited yung storage nyo sa G Suite for Education. Wow! And that means na kahit na gaano kadami yung files nyo, you can assign a million documents and it's okay. A million assignments, it's okay. Huwag naman a million assignments. Huwawa naman yung mga bata. Google uh, Drive has the ability for you to, uh, to give you tools also that would allow you to make documents. So, meron doong uh, application called Google Docs para gumawa ng mga Word documents. Meron kang application called Google Sheets to make your spreadsheets. And you also have Google Slides para sa mga presentations. Sobrang dali. You even have other applications like Google Drawings for you to make your drawings easily. And all of them happen in the browser. You don't need to install anything. All you need is a browser. And of course, ang recommended browser natin, Google Chrome. The next one is uh, Google uh, Calendar. So, paano natin mamamanage yung schedule natin? Right now, naka-work from home lahat tayo. So, do that. We manage that using our Google Calendar. So, madali natin may assign yung mga events. Pwede tayo makapag-lagay uh, ng appointment slot just in case gusto natin mag-open ng appointment slot for one-is-to-one -one review for our students. Napakadaling gawin nun using Google Calendar. Okay? The next one is Google Keep. Google Keep naman, it's one of my most favorite applications because it allows you to do note-taking. Kahit anong notes, pwede na ako maglagay ng mga notes doon. Pwede ako maglagay ng voice notes, mga note to self, pwede ako maglagay ng mga listahan. And the nice thing about this, all of my lists, all of my notes can be collaborative. Pwede ako magdagdag ng ibang tao dun sa mga notes ko. And all of these applications, i-discuss natin to in the coming days because I really would like you to be able to maximize G Suite for your school. And by the way, kung hindi pa kayo naka-G Suite, I think this is time for you to do it, no? Um, there is, I'm, I'm putting a, a link down below para makapag-G Suite yung school nyo. Mag-fill out lang po kayo dun sa form na yun. And I will definitely email you so that we can help you out, okay? Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you again for watching. Marami pong salamat. Uh, for listening to uh, my overview of G Suite and I really uh, hope that you learned something from that and looking forward po kayo sana sa mga susunod na videos kung saan ipapakita natin isa-isa itong mga applications na ipinakita ko today. So once again, stay safe po tayong lahat. Wash your hands, do not touch your face and uh, stay at home, maintain social distance pero syempre emotionally close na close pa rin tayo. Okay, so thank you very much again. Have a great day po. Magandang araw.